And I believe we are live. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a little bit more of our Antebellum Byzantium campaign. Where in the stream yesterday, poor, I, uh, it could, drives a man to alcoholism. It really could. Um, but we come out on top against Bulgaria. Um, we we take a, a vast swathe of territory. We now have a Serbian vassal. We have an Albanian vassal. Um, got Theodoro over there. We're actually not over our alliance limit. I could, noble counselor is there. I can't even remember grabbing that, but that's awesome. Is that this? No, I don't know how I got noble counselor, but whatever. It doesn't matter. We're doing pretty good. We had an issue in the last session, but as my power projection would imply, right now, it's pretty nice. The plan for today, then. The plan for today. I am sick to fucking death of Sicily. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. It's, its existence is very irritating. It annoys me, and I I can't be... I, I can't. I just can't anymore. Sicily needs to go, because what Sicily's doing is constantly raiding my fucking coast, which means that I'm very, very hard-pressed to get any sort of prosperity in my land, and we need to stop this. It's, it's awful. Tunis as well. Very annoying. Uh, thankfully, Tunis can't get to Constantinople. Uh, but it can't get into the Aegean Sea, which is like... There's a lot of provinces right here that they're raiding, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, so Sicily needs to die. Tunis is... the most protected little prick of all time. We could ally them. And that would stop them... That would stop them from raiding me. I, I, like, unironically, I didn't see that until right now. I'm somewhat tempted by this idea. Um, the, the idea has potential. Let's just say that. Uh, it is the big brain move. It would cost me a dip per month. Um, I guess it's because we lost Magyars. This is why I'm I'm no longer above... So, yeah. I'm thinking... It's one of these. It's got to be one of these. I have no. I still have no idea why I've got... What's noble counsellors? Oh, it's probably, it's probably one of these. Yeah, I have no idea. Whatever. Um... I kind of want the Magyars back as a friend because they're really cool. I kind of want to get Tunis as a friend because that would stop a lot of raiding. And we need to kill Sicily. That's the plan. That is the plan. Um, we do have a significant amount of debt, which kind of sucks. Uh, maybe we can grab a little bit of money from you. 200 gold when you have enough money and uh, the ability to go to war. That's cool. Um... Tech-wise, I am in need of the latest institution. It is growing in Constantinople. Or it is it is in Constantinople. It's growing elsewhere. So we'll get that reasonably soon. Maybe we'll turn Thrace on to institution spread. And the same with Nikea. Um, what else have we got that we need to do? Let's have a look at missions. Um... Navy tradition of 50, we're currently on, not bad, 44.7. Uh, I just need to get my fleet to be uh, protecting trade again, and then that would work out. Uh, securing the coastline, I literally just need one province from the Abbasids. Now, the Abbasids have got 93,000 men. Obviously, they will kick seven shades of shite out of me. But what we can do is maybe wait until Persia's truce with the Abbasids is up, and then we go in together. Uh, and I'm actually thinking I would love an extra bit of relations there, just so we don't have issues. Um, 
Let's also get a claim. And we could support some rebels, but we're not going to. Uh, on Bulgaria, I don't think we need to take any more claims. We have... These are permanent claims as well, so I don't need this to be around anymore. But what we can do is just slander your merchants. They suck. Um, eat a dick. All that good stuff. Uh, what else can we do? Let's have a look at the missions. Done that, done that, done that. Revive the Pandecatarian. I need a university. We can't do that yet. Osman's Bazaar. I need four privileges with the burgers. I need 1,500 gold and mercantilism at 20%. And then I get another level on the Osman's Bazaar, which is quite good. That is actually pretty good bonuses. Oh, push the frontier is looking like a pain in the ass. I need to take land from Persia. That's not going to be fun. Actually, no, I have it. I need 20 provinces um, in Anatolia, and I have 37. Okay, so that is done. Um, Avenging the Force Crusade, I need uh, to own Venice. Rid of it, Hagia Sophia. I need five grand. Okay, um, sure. So we got we got some things to do. A lot of things I need money. A lot of things is I just need money. Uh, but I think we can unpause. I think we can unpause. And immediately you saw there Sicily raiding my coast. So we need to attack them. Um, I need money first before we can really afford to do that. Uh, we're currently well, well over my force limit. I'm spending 10 ducats on being over the force limit. So I'm thinking we need to downsize a little bit. I don't want to downsize that much, though. 10 ducats is quite a lot of money to be spending. Uh, maybe I'll get rid of the early carracks. Two galleys in each node is more than enough to stop uh, raiders. Is it really that little? Do I have... How many trade nodes I got? Constantinople and Ragusa is really all that I need to protect. Okay, Hunt Pirates, Ragusa, and Hunt Pirates, Constantinople. Hopefully that works. I mean, I'm going to take your word for it. I, I was... Hmm. Let's hope you're right. I need the transports. I think what we need to do is... Honestly, I'm going to get rid of these Karaks. These early Karaks. If I can sell them off, that would be the best win. Um, so, hey, Circassia, you want a heavy ship? For 30 gold? Sound. Whatever. Uh, how about you, Valakia? Do you want an early croc? Yeah. Would you like an early Karak? 20 gold? Hmm. How about to Kiev? 10 gold? Fuck me. What about my vassal? 20? Not good enough. Albania? None. Abbasids can eat shit. Venice can... Pardon me. Do the same. Georgia? 30 gold. I'll sell. Uh, maybe Genoa. No, we'll try and sell that other early Karak. Nope. Tunis. 20 gold. Maybe Ferrara. Nope. Tuscany. We'll try and sell this ship, please. Like, 30 gold is all I'm really asking.
maybe even Frankier. But they are currently at war with someone random. Um, nope. I don't really have many options here then. Okay, Tunis it is. So that brings my over fleet limit, <laughs> over force limit down to seven gold a month, which is still not great. But it is better than nothing. As soon as we take a bunch of this land, it's going to be better. It's going to be better. Um, there's no accepted cultures that we can do. But I'm thinking when we go into Sicily, Neapolitian and... Um, and Sicilian are pretty big. So I'm happy to accept both of those. After watching Lambert play this, I'm tempted to try the mod and the Magyars. wonder if they play like a horde with raising mechanics. Be interesting to see. Bulgaria is currently at war with Styria. Interesting. Hopefully they don't take... They're totally going to take Serbian land. Unless they take just Bosnia and Smyrna and Samoji. Which they're absolutely going to take more than that. Which is very unfortunate, but it is what it is. Do we take tech here? I think we probably should. How long until I can get the next institution? Is it spreading fast at all anywhere? One a month, 1.8 a month, it's not bad. 1.5 a month. We still got the option of deving in Thessalonica as well. What is the next tech after printing press? Is global trade. We're probably not getting that. Got another core that I can do as well. God, we make no... Like, we have no maintenance right now and we're making no money. I do have a level 2. It's half price, but I have a level 2 that I could get rid of. Um... Capped on dip, so I might as well take this tech now. Unless, unless I want to do some dip dev here in Thrace. Or maybe here in Nikea. I don't know how much that helps. Probably not at all, but... Whatever. Sorry, I'll just take the tech. I'll just take the tech. It does help my income go up a little bit. And do we want to get another claim on you? Bardia. Where is Bardia? Where are these claims it's offering me? Oh, down here, these three. No, I'm good. Uh, we can convert Gangra. And that is going to get Enforced Religious Unity. You can lose it now. Any go ever going to do anything with about the massive inflation? So, you know, um, yeah, uh... I didn't realize it was quite this high. I'm not going to lie. I, uh, I didn't actually look. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend some points to get it down. That's damn right. That's way higher than I thought it was going to be. Do you want to actually... You're not even protecting trade. That's unfortunate. There we go. Now we should start making money again. Um, 
Bulgaria is not a valid rival anymore, so we're going to rival Venice. And, you know, they didn't actually take land from Serbia, I, very surprisingly. If they drop this um, guarantee, we can attack Montenegro for some Serbian land. It's actually kind of awesome. Oh, what are you dying to now? Novgorod Conquest of Kazan. Golden Horde is just getting eaten. Just absolutely eaten. What's the Turkic population right now? Uh, there's quite a few Turks here. Um, but they're friends, not food, in, in this campaign. Suleiman the Magnificent was a god-tier general that saved our ass in uh, multiple wars. Oh, there it is. Declare war, reconquest. Go, vassals. You can do all of the work for me. I don't need to do shit. Yes. Highland fight. Let's go. Uh, here. Whatever, that's fine. Perfect. Absolutely goaded. Um, Support and Rebels just doesn't seem like a good idea. I mean, we could do Seljuk Rebels. That could work. But I just don't think that's going to happen. So we'll stop there. Is anyone going to want... No, nobody wants the institution. Because I don't have it. But I'm getting it. Could I get Turkic generals to join your army? I mean, I already have in the past. Judgment Day is upon us. The minions of Lucifer walk upon the earth. Oh no, that's merely the Byzantine. I mean, you can thank me, Lucifer, all you like. It just means you're afraid. It just means you're afraid. Yeah, we've actually got some decent generals. That's not bad. Now, I wonder, are we gaining Navy tradition now? No, we're still losing it. Balls. Okay, never mind. Still in a good position. I just need, I need money. Money is like my big ball neck right now. Any chance you can give me some cash? Nope, apparently not. You don't have it, and you're losing money. Interesting. I think next time we lose the royal marriage with Georgia, I'm not going to regain that alliance. Hey, Elder Hill. Yearly inflation reduction would be nice. Maybe uh, some economic ideas for the National Bank. It's kind of the only option there, isn't it? Alright, that also goes to Serbia. Grab both of those. And whatever cash you've got. Lovely. Easy peasy. Royal Marriage of Serbia seems fine. Do I want that trade idea? You know, hmm, the war galley actually kind of tempting. That would give us an edge over you. You're allied with Bulgaria again? Are you fucking with me? You. What is with this absolute clinginess? Like, I just don't understand what is this necessity here. Uh, I think I'm actually going to take that so I can pay off a loan or two. I can pay off a 0% loan. 
I think I'm going to hold on to the money, try and pay off a... Uh, no, actually, we should pay off the 2%, uh, the 0%ers, so we can get more of them. Are they historical friends? No. No, they're not. Uh, because I had a, a test game of Sicily, just having to mess around, and it instantly Bulgaria rivals you. Like, they're not historical friends at all. I just, I don't understand what's going on there. Mm, innovation. Oh, fuck. I mean, combat with an infantry fire is kind of important. Bastions are kind of important. Almost have it in Nikea. I do have 50 innovativeness. I kind of like my innovativeness. I think we just take the tech. We were pretty heavily ahead. We actually don't have any uh, cavalry at, at the moment. So what I'm going to do is turn on Eastern Knights. So if we get some rebels in the future, and they have uh, cavalry in there, uh, those cavalrymen will be trash. Bulgaria is one good war away from being irrelevant with your claims on Serbia's cores. Yeah, true. I could attack Sicily and then full focus on wiping out um, Bulgaria, separate piece them for a bunch of Serbia's cores. Like, that's, that's totally doable, actually. The tempting thing is to get to the next tech level, because at the moment we're in Age of Reformation, so actually... One of the big advantages that Sicily has in the early game... Oh, I like that. One of the big advantages that Sicily has in the early game is that they do not... Uh, they have a, a special doodad here that gives them plus either 15 or 25% galley combat ability. Uh, they no longer have that. Shouldn't forget to actually get your full capital province. Yeah, true. Sol's Paul, absolutely necessary. Obviously, we get cores here, my own land. I'll get Debrugia as well. Maybe we'll take the entire E of Silistria. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much... I will, hmm. what, is, what is your 100% at? You're 193, so that's two wars. Um, I mean, it'd be pretty fucking sexy borders, not going to lie. Do I even have any CB on you? I, Albania has a conquest. You know, that'll do. That would do it. We lost whatever bonus we had. Unfortunate. Equally unfortunate. There's no way I save that. But yo, let's pay off the 0% loan. And get some more 0% loans. Rila Monasteries. Still cost modifier religious unity clergy loyalty. It's not bad, actually. I'm not paying a grand on it when I'm this much in debt, but, you know, it's, you know, tempting shit, nonetheless. Uh, yeah, let's pay off some 4% loans. Should give us a bit more income. Eventually it will work out. Uh, Mokisus is right here. Let's turn on Missionary Strength, and I'll turn it off here. We're doing a decent job pushing back Islam. What graphics mod am I using? All of the mods that I'm using are in the description. I am fairly sure. Let me just check. Let me just double check. I am. Yeah, they're in the description.
Who else are you allied with? Uh, Tuscany. There's another 33,000, so that's what? 76,000 plus 17k. Chances of you getting enough uh, passages through to here, pretty high. So I'm slightly hesitant. We can no longer claim tech care. Four grand in debt. Jeez, I thought I was bad. Okay, fuck. So, yeah, if I attack Sicily, I feel like I get rolled. Because Tuscany, despite being really small, has some of the most concentrated dev. 40 dev, 38 dev, 35 dev, 30 dev, 32 dev. Like, that is concentrated development. So, we need to worry... Because if they, if they do get passage, they fuck me over. Real hard. And chances are they do exactly that. Oh, we could get Bulgaria to not join in. And that prevents a lot of their ability to get down here. We could also attempt the conquest of Venice again, but... Still, 87 ships. They still marole me there. How many how many specific ships does Venice have? Venice has 15 galleys, 13 heavies. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I get rolled. If I attack Bulgaria, who joins them? <clears throat> uh, just, just Sicily. Which would be fine, but we've got a truce with them, so obviously we can't do that. I, I'm very annoyed that I lose money while having uh, raised maintenance. Oh, of course you go to Castoria. Uh, I don't like say censorship. Isn't that one of these? No. I don't want you to lower my institution spread, but fine. I mean, it's almost there anyway, right? That it was not changing. What are we at for the cost of this? By 1600 fucking hell. If Odena is grasslands, I'm going to attack in there. So it's sort of funny to think about how provinces of Albania have quadrupled over the game's history. True. That used to be one province. That's very true. I mean, Ireland used to be four, and now look at the thing. Obviously, I think Antibellum's actually added quite a few more, but even in vanilla, like, Ireland has gotten way, way more. Syrian separatists. This, this, yeah, huge Syria releasable. It's tempting to go for as well. Sorry. 
son of a... I don't want to raise my maintenance right now. Let's get the 334. Can I hit the dev map mode so we can see the neon green Italy that always happens in the mod? Sure thing. And Tuscany's there at the 40 dev mark. We've got a 48. I'm doing good at 48 as well, you know. But yeah, I mean. Italy's always, always, always going to be high dev. All right, once again, get some money going. And pay off another. We can't pay off another loan. Never mind. Still so twenty two hundred gold. I mean, it's the the amount of money we need to pay is is coming down. Now there's another loan paid off. It's good. Uh, you know what? I will give you those soldiers for the favors. That seems like a reasonable idea. I'm gonna ask for money as soon as you have that much money. How much money do you have? Oh my god, Tuscany's also got this much money. Fucking Venice got four grand. Oh my god. Uh, Persia's currently got 92 gold. Uh, we'll convert another province. You think Persia and Byzantium would be historical rivals? Uh, not in the mod. I don't think the Persians and the Romans actually fought each other. Or maybe they did, and I'm just talking shit. There, we now can start making money. Uh, I'm not going to give you money, Persia. I'm sorry. I'm going to take money from you when you have 240 gold, though. Roman Persia fought quite a bit. Talk about the mod. I know they did in real life. I, specifically talking about the mod, though, is, is the important thing here. Let's get religious unity. Nice 103%. Yeah, you're talking about history. History is not important here. Uh, ooh, Abbasids are actually fighting Tunis. Uh, sorry, Tunis and Abbasids fighting Andalusia. What is this war? Taf you attack Tafilal to allied Abbasids and Tunis. Tunis was allies with Andalusia. Thankfully that broke, actually. That's pretty good. So Tunis doesn't have any good allies... Obviously, we can't attack them because we got no CB ourselves, but it's an important one. I saw the inflation. Yes, I did. Totally wasn't pointed out to me though. That was all. It was all me. All me. You've now allied Ung. Who is Ung? They got 3k. I don't give a fuck about Ung. Nice, nice Orthodox nation, though. We we do be liking the the spread of Orthodoxy. It's pretty good. The big byzantine sasanian War still happened. It's just that the Arabs mostly failed to invade Persia. Gotcha. That's cool. Good to know. You got any money for me, Persia? Not yet. How much money do you have? 166. 
Um, how much do you have now? 203. Okay, you make 40 gold a month. So you should have it next month. Let's go. That's another loan off. We're at 1,300 debt now. All right, this is the reversal of fortunes that we were looking for. Uh, I'm going to take that money as well. The point of diversions from our timeline is in the Middle Ages, I believe. So Rome and Persia had already fought decades-long wars in the 500s and 600s apart from Roman Persian wars in antiquity. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah that makes more sense. Bulgaria has re-rivaled me. We're losing great power status to the Han, the bastards. Oh, Britannia's formed. That's cool. Not sure the, of the flag. The, I mean, it's it's um, it's a choice. I prefer the flag that they had beforehand, which is the white dragon on red field. I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of like that flag. Um, yeah, we're definitely not taking seven years ahead of time tech, though. That's not going to happen. Have you actually embraced? You have embraced it as well, you bastard. Oh, you've got another ally. Lendians again! Oh, you fucking asshole. If I was to attack you right now, 45k on your side, well... Plus another 30k cannons, yeah. 80, 85,000 versus our uh, 55,000. That's another loan, though. Only three loans left, and they're all zero percenters. After the loan is paid off, we're going to save up for the institution. After the institution is paid off, we're increasing the size of our army. How much can I actually save up? 1498, okay. You're at 210 a month, that's not bad. 259 a month is even better. Did Persia form along the way in your game? Yes. They formed from the Shupanids. I am running with the latest version, or the a version of Antebellum that isn't currently out to the public. I'm running with the new Persia patch. 1.8, I want to say it is. Um, thankfully, um, I got some early access to that. Which is kind of cool. Um, where did that rebel come from? Or go? No idea. Um, so yeah, there's there's new Persia content in my game. Uh, Cappadocia is next. Rome still has this. If I could get Georgia or Persia to join, Persia's even more in debt now. Fighting Mogulistan. They're over here, right? They were. They are, okay. One more loan. We are so close to being out of debt. How are monuments in Antebellum? There is a lot more of them. A lot more of them. This is the monument map mode. So, quite a few more monuments, more evenly spread out. France gets fucked, by the way. I, th I find it quite funny that France gets absolutely fucked for monuments. All they have is, in Paris, they have Notre Dame and Versailles. Um, they're pretty decent monuments. I mean, Notre Dame's kind of meh, but, you know, it, 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 it does the job. It does the job. Uh, whereas, you know, we're pretty pretty happy for our own monuments. Tarnovo is something I would like to take soon. Fortress and, and the school institution spread there is just, oh, so nice. Uh, so I want those. 
But honestly, you could spend all day looking around at different um, uh, at different monuments. Don't think France has been touched up in a long time, so it's probably subject to change. That's fair. I need to do some military development. Uh, let's get a new merchant. I might as well co collect from trade in my own home node. That might be a good idea. 26 ducat of income. I'm liking it. You ready to give me more money? When can I ask again? 80. Okay. What's the ruling family of France? Carolingians? Yeah, still Carolingians. One of the loading screens is a really cool custom piece. Um... I think done specifically for Antebellum of uh, Lothair. Uh, I think that's good enough. That's nice to see. Bulgaria's in debt. We would really need to blitz Bulgaria. They only have one fort. They've lost the fort in uh, De Bruges. I do think... Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Um, does that mean I no longer have a marriage with you, so I'm going to dissolve that alliance. You, you have been less than useless as an ally. Brings us back to four out of four, which is good. Spend some admin on that. No, Georgia, I'm not giving you ducats. Charlemagne's house never went extinct in this timeline, so the French kept the title of Holy Roman Emperor. I don't believe they have it anymore. Oh, you're trash. You're really good. I want you to be my doodad. Um, yeah, I don't think they have it anymore. At the moment, yeah, they're not even in the uh, Empire. It's currently held by Lombardy. So the Italy and Spain are Muslim, yes. I uh, got stability there, hell yes. Hostile publications, whatever. We we already have printing press here, so that changes nothing. Is this my last loan? No, it's not. Got one more loan after this. I'm going to pay off this loan and then I'm going to take burger loans again just so that I can grab the institution. Uh, Athens now has it, which means we no longer need institution spread here. Can you use favors for ducats? I can in uh, August 1580. Yeah, 2nd of August 1580, I can get 250 ducats from Persians again. God, there's a lot of hostile publications going around, not gonna lie. I think I'm going to annex Theodoro. Makes the most sense to me. Anyway, there's the final loan. We are no longer in debt. We are now in debt. I'm going to embrace that. Uh, which means I need to take... Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm not going to take that tech then. What I'm needing to do then is... Just 
some military development. I am then going to see if anyone wants my knowledge sharing. God, if only, if only Persia was there. They have loans, they would end up in a money deficit. God damn it. Um, Alright, Circassia is 0.18. Serbia, 0.44. Albania, 0.22. Not great, not great, but whatever. I'll give Persia soldiers, that's fine. Gonna take that, which means I can take another idea group, and I'm thinking it's gonna have to be a military idea group. Uh, and I'm thinking it's gonna be either quality or professional. Quality, because navy is important. So getting ship durability morale of navies is good. Discipline's always nice. Infantry combat ability is nice. Uh, army tradition, artillery combat ability. Like it's it's a good it's a good idea group. Don't really care about the cav combat ability, but whatever. Professional ideas uh, is good because you obviously the army tradition there. Uh, army tradition decay, so double stacks on that. Fifteen percent morale of armies and artillery damage on the back row is really really good. Offensive is another option. Um, shock damage, fire damage. You know, oh, sorry, pips. Uh, discipline there. Uh, force limit. Morale speed recovery. It's good. Quantity is another option. But I kind of want this military academy. Which means I need offensive quality or professional. Uh, I'm leaning quality. But we're going to leave it up to a vote. Uh, military, uh, what's called, idea group. Professional. Uh, offensive. Add option and quality. And to have a look at some of the policies, uh, if we went professional, we could merge it with what we've got in trade for the ship. Uh, propagation uh, and core creation cost uh, they're there at the bottom uh, we could go with quality and merge it with uh, state governance for infantry combat ability um, trade ideas for the trade efficiency it's pretty good actually uh, and offensive we're looking at land leader siege uh, trade efficiency and movement speed So, I'm personally, policy-wise, thinking quality wins, because infantry combat ability to double up on the infantry combat ability here, and trade efficiency is, is I mean, it's trade efficiency, it's a good, it's a good modifier. Speaking of good modifiers, uh, I'm going to take trade steering, which means aggressive expansion impact. Nice. What's the plan for this? The plan is going to be to invade Sicily at some point. Uh, but Bulgaria, I think, needs to go first. Oh, fucking Lendians. The Lendians are really close to not wanting to be at war with me. And they love me, actually. Oh. We need to be friendly. With these Lendian folk. I know it's costing me dip a month, but whatever. I'm not giving you ducats. Is there a little war that we could jump in on? Like Ragusa, maybe. And draw the Lendians in. Also want to curry favours with you. I no longer need institutions spread. Those are consecrate metropolitans. 
Don't think it's necessary just this moment, though. Why did I take mercenary ideas? Because they're good. Oh, you know what I need to do? Upgrade a fort so when I siege lower level forts, they're easier to fall. Mercenary ideas give the military tactics, which is lovely. Um, war taxes cost, so I've got war taxes on permanently. Manpower recovery speed, which is awesome. And then, obviously, if I need mercs, which I have needed pretty much all the time, uh, they've been really, you know, handy. Merc ideas are just good. Also, mercs, no, like, if I take a merc, I don't lose any professionalism. Don't worry about the lack of professionalism that I have. Uh, it's purely down to my monetary situation being beyond a joke. Uh, purchase losing money, goddamn. Free tactics, yeah, free tactics is great. Five percent tactics is is nothing to be sniffed at. How big is my land force limit? Uh, we currently have a force limit of seventy-two. We're gonna get there soon. Taking tech fifteen early is huge. Actually, huge. But also, I need more cannons. What is combat width right now is 29. 31's fine. Just make it an even number, though. My truce with Bulgaria is up. We get core creation cost, or nothing else there. Core creation cost, war score cost versus other religions, merc discipline, institution spread, don't need that anymore. Ship trade power propagation is fine, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think core creation cost 20% is huge. I can just get like a, a quick little Lendian assistance somewhere. You know, if I had ten, if I had the favors, oh, the Mag I don't want to fight the Magyars. I can't. I can't be doing that to the Magyars. Is it the Teutonic Order in Slovakia? Uh, no. The Teutonic Order is a tag in this game, but it's just not formed. I've got Pruthenia, though. There is a bunch of cannons. Ruthenia just formed. Oh shit, so they did, that's cool. Lovely flag, absolutely beautiful, goated. Like, Lendians, they give you land. How about... In January, we take the tech. It's a huge tech. It really is a huge tech. We get ourselves the Eastern Tercio. Maintenance goes up. A loan is repaid. A general is assigned. A decent general as well. And I feel like we can probably stack wipe this Bulgarian army. 
like day one, straight up day one. Uh, yeah, you got this. This galley fleet is going to cost me two seventeen to up update. I feel like that's probably going to be necessary. Uh, if I look at rival Sicily is here with ten galleys, left. eleven heavies though, is the the annoying part. Uh, new government reform. Uh, is there anything here that will help me? I hate Parliament, so fuck that. Uh, absolutism and maximum absolutism is nice for later. Army tradition decay and diplo rep is pretty decent. Um, loyalty equilibrium is fucking awesome, actually. General states is looking good. States general is stab cost modifier. No stab loss on monarch death is pretty cool. But it also gives me basically a fucking republic thing. A delegation to the Sinkletos. I think General Estates. Or Aristocratic Court. I'm going to go General Estates. as well with general estates um colon diet no longer inf uh, increases influence shall we test that so influence here of 30 you know what let's give it a monthly tick let's give it a monthly tick just to be the most fair possible just in case 30 changes into 35 it just straight up doesn't work Yep. Uh, I feel like we can do that. You need heavy ships, sell titles, and build some, or Venice and Sicily would crush you. Well, I'm not planning on fighting them both at the same time. Also, it looks like quality has decisively won the poll. Which is kind of cool. As soon as I get these trade ideas, we'll also be able to get some more policies. Where is the Bulgarian army now? Yeah, this Lendian deal didn't work at all, did it? Oh, that's worth it. I want to know where the Bulgarian army is because like, step one of my plan here is to just instantly crush them. I do have enough favors with the Lendians. Like, is there any any possibility? I mean, I could attack Ruthenia, which would, you know, I could get them in. They won't break their alliance. Optima Toy has grain, I believe. Yeah, bigger army then. Should we just do it? Uh... Are we having stream issues? I'm getting an error message. Hopefully it's fine. There's nothing that I've done on my end. I 
Like there's no there's not even a fort here, so this should just walk through their fort. Especially if we put the three three. I feel like we need to just go for it. Let's go. Oh yeah. Forgot they had navies. Right, so we see their army. I want to immediately go and stack wipe that. Twenty-eight percent already. Holy shit! Well, Highlands, that's gonna be a stack wipe. Let's go. Can we get up here? We can. So they're on their way. Can we get to here? No, not yet. Okay. If I drop these guys, we can upgrade. Got ourselves a naval leader. He's not very good, uh, but we're going to need someone good. Because you've got 11 heavies on their way. Vassals are really good for the va uh, carpet siege aspect. They're very, very good at that. <laughs> Yo, if all you want to do is go and, like, occupy Theodoro, my dude, be my fucking guest. Oh, the Lendians arrived. Okay, so now we know where they are. We're going to immediately pop on defensiveness. But yeah, Sicily, you go and siege Theodora. That's that's a good boy. You do whatever you need to do. Make you feel good. Alright, let's go get our territory back. We'll kick the shit out of the Lendians a little bit. Access from Styria. Styria is also at war with the Lendians. Uh, you know what? If I... Mm, maybe... I need to go and take Belgrade. Let me just... Let me just quickly... Just quickly run up to Belgrade. Just just real, real swift. Just real quick. Just need to... So just make sure you don't get it. What's your war over? You want Colabruca? I have it occupied. Are you at war with Sicily? You are. This is beautiful. This is actually gotified. So now we have Belgrade. Styria ain't getting it. The Styria are fighting my reb my my uh, enemies for me. Uh, let's take that three siege guy and pop him over there on his own. These guys, split, 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 split. Styria is just walking over these guys. They're going to get to Tarnovo first. But it's fine, they're not going to take Tarnovo.
I can send Michael for gone. I'm not too worried about that. I did lose my siege leader though. Unfortunate. Sicilians are pretty strong, but I feel like I should win that handily. Which means that army will be stack wiped. I need to basically prepare myself for an invasion of Sicily itself. How many, how many men does Sicily have left? 30,000. Lendians? Yo, at, the, at some point, yeah. You're going to want peace very, very quickly. It's what I like to see. There it is. Lendian peace. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm going to see what happens when my navy takes on his navy. I kind of would like a better admiral, though. I really want a better admiral. We'll take him. He's tr still... Tr I'd love a bit more, you know, maneuver on my admirals, but, you know, whatever. Yo... Yo! Fucking paper tiger much? <laughs> I, I don't understand. I understand. They have war galleys. Did I capture any heavies? Their heavies were updated. Yo, that was... Uh, that said a lot. Oh, here come the uh, transports, of course. This is... Revenge. We were getting revenge right here. You can fight, you can fight. These are caravels of the galleys. You can fight, you can fight, you can fight. Revenge is coming. <laughs> uh, benign neglect here. Make grapes. Uh, whatever, draft it then. And the army is in Italy. Let's go fuck his fleet up more. Iconian is here. And Caraman. You can have missionary strength. You no longer need it. Ooh, a stability sounds beautiful, actually.
It's annoying that he has Tarnovo, but I don't think I was going to take it in this war anyway. Ooh, no, I don't want to take him to the mountains. That seems like a silly misplay. I don't know where their army is. They've only got 18k. Okay, I know where most of their army is then. Oh, if only I could get there in time. I kind of want you to just go back protecting trade. Give me some money. What we've got is enough. Gotta say, the Styrians attacking at the same time really helped. Oh, were Gooses at war? With Lombardy. Okay. Take some infantry combat ability. Yeah, easy peasy. The race for Rome is on, actually. You're at 42%, I'm at 14. If, if only, if only, you know. But we are getting a foothold in, uh, in Sicily in this war. 100% we're getting a foothold. Force March now available. We actually won the siege race. We're going for Rome. We're going to go for Rome. Mm. Yeah. I need even money. Oh no, they're going to knock out my boats. Whatever will I do? Uh, you can be peaced out. Oh, apparently not. Your only province is under siege and you don't want peace again. Cool. Why are you scared? I kind of want to go for you. They're really trying to build new boats, aren't they? I'm going to win this siege race. I'm not worried. Okay, so we we were a little worried for a little while, but now we're just, you know... Fine. Manpower's looking good. Integrated uh, uh, Theodoro. I don't need your boats. They smell... Go on, go on, knock out his boats, please. Please. Oh, they're actually fighting Moravia as well. This is what I felt. Sicily, you now know how it feels. You absolute fuckstick. They're going to get onto Sicily itself as well. Rome has fallen. Rome has fucking fallen. Their armies are still pretty strong, but not strong enough. Can you re please knock out their ships? I would love to attack them.
Thank you. <laughs> I'll take that mercantilism. I just wanted to take this province, make sure that the uh, they don't get it. I'm actually going to stay here as well. Defend a mountain? Hell yeah. But this is the end of Sicily. Absolutely the end of Sicily. Which is beautiful. Now we just need to wait and see how long Styria wants to stay in their fight. Because I will be cutting them off, 100%. Will I retake Rome this war? It's tempting, but probably not. I think something maybe like taking Sicily itself, maybe Malta. Like Rome itself is 38. That also a mountain? Yeah, I ain't attacking a mountain, fuck that. I, I could. I'd much rather take... I'd much, much rather take, like, that. I think that would be a better one. Oh, we should also just completely decimate their fleet, though. Let me repair my ships first. I like how they're all just, like, standing, staring at the guy. Any province you can take to release as a vassal to later core reconquest? That's a good call. There is Salerno, which is a decent amount. Uh, we got Apulia for two. 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 Papal State still exists. Capua for two. Strange that there isn't a Sicily itself. Uh, maybe we take Salerno then for the four. Oh, I really want that. Bad call, Sicily. Where's my transports? Are they in this stack? No, they're here. Malta doesn't have a releasable either. God, 
Oh, it takes so long to land on Malta. I know we have called for peace. I don't care. It's worth the wait. Who got black flagged? Styria is black flagged. But they they're still at war with them. They must have pieced someone else out. Someone just raided me. Was it Tunis? I think it was Tunis. Raided cost minus 57. Asshole. Stap. Okay. Well, maybe I don't take Balharm, but I could take that. Yeah. And then from Bulgaria. Obviously we stop Styria from coming south. Sozopol I need to take. Now we take all of... Um, we'll make Serbia a big vassal. Um, let's take Sredets. Perfect. All right, release Salerno. So now we have cores, and you know what? Fucking Styria may be kind to me and say, give cores to Salerno. That could be cool. It's probably not going to happen, but man would be cool if it did. Sicily no longer a valid rival. Haha, <laughs> I get fucked. Back into my own territory. But you have a transport, you do. A march from Serbia, no. That was a phenomenal war went swimmingly and now what we're going to do is rival we could rival Andalusia to make Persia like us more um, rival Lotharingia to make maybe Frankia like us I don't really want to rival Styria If you're able to make a march, I think Serbia is one of the best options for it. Yeah, no, they are a really good option. I just don't want a march. Let me go Andalusia. Oh, Tunis is now allied with the Abbasids. Alright, drop you and you. You guys merge up. Protect trade. We did swimmingly. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what they do to Sicily now. What's naval tradition? That's a good point. 46-6. 
fuck. So close. Oh. I, so, yeah. I mean, finishing off the idea group is too good. A domestic trade power. And another merchant. Which is gonna go... You've already got one. I guess Basra. <laughs> oh, there's the peace deal. What did you take from Sicily and Bulgaria? Oh, no, you just pieced out Sicily. What, broke their alliance? I don't see it. There it is. Syria accepted peace with Sicily on the following terms. Uh, war reps. Uh, treaties with Bulgaria. 770 ducats to Styria. Uh, and that's it. Okay. As long as Styria doesn't vassalize Bulgaria now, I, I think I'm okay. They can't. They're 101%. Let's go. <laughs> Styria has rivaled me. Okay. A Cilicine. Oh my god. Uh, Georgia got eaten by Persia. I think we need to uh, take the rest of uh, Georgia now. At some point as well, Persia, you need to pay off your loans, buddy. What do I need for the Secure Coast mission? Just tech. Just tech. It's ace. Just need fucking tech. So I need to attack the Abbasids before too long. They're on tech 14, I'm on tech 15. Con's a decent trade good. What's their reconciliation achievement? Um, I need to restore the Pentarchy. In the Age of Discovery. Yo, good luck with that. Restore the Pentarchy mission. So I need to landfall in Italy, march on Rome, restore the Pentarchy, which means I need Rome, Constantinople, Alexandria, which is owned by the Nizarids at the start of the game, which is basically the Abbasids, um, Jerusalem, and Antakia here. So you need to fight the um, you need to fight the uh, the Nizarids, fight Sicily. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. Check my Roman Empire decision. What about it? It requires a lot less. Yes, true. It no longer needs all of France, fucking York, London, 
Uh, do I still need to go? Okay, I also no longer need to go down to uh, Q8. Stuff for tryhards? Yeah, basically. Oh yeah, I have these arm this army as well. I mean, Crimea definitely, I think, should be a uh, cord. As soon as this is taken, we're going to build a fort here. Um, Lendian royal marriage is a pain. Slower army maintenance. Make some money. Get rid of loans again. I could sell titles. All of my dudes like me, actually. Let's do that. No more loans. Fantastic. Georgia just died. Yeah, they did. They, they, they expired. They're allied with Polotsk. Not caring. So let's grab a claim on Trebizond. Uh, yeah, let's just go in. All my generals died, so I'll grab you. Oh, Palazzo can't even join you? Even better. Rude. Persia to, to summon my call to war. You scumbags. Okay, they outnumber me by about 40,000. Huh. You want white peace? I'm a little busy right now. I mean, I kind of, I kind of need to be uh, out of here. Persia, you at least gonna give me military access? You won't. You fucking hate me now. You're the one who did, did fucking betrayed me. You knob. Come on, get on the fort. For fuck's sake. Okay, now this is just bad. This is real bad, actually. Alright, Siege of Mush is over. If I just occupy this, then, like, I'll just, you know, I can just ignore it for a little while. Fucking Seljuk still exist. Alright, Georgia, do you want to just, like, peace out with me, buddy? Uh, 
There we go. Peace in our time, let's go. Okay, now we gotta sweat over this fucking silly European war where I've got no friends. That's, you know, exactly what I wanted. Where is it? Fucking uh, the defensiveness. Someone got rid of the Belgrade fort. They, I don't think there ever was one. At least we can trap that 20k over there, hopefully. Yo, come on. If I get all of them... Exceptionally goatified? Oh no, you're just gonna stay there. Yeah, no. Oh, if you get both sides, then it's fucking irrelevant. What kind of sick fucking morale is this? Uh, what we definitely need to do is ask Michael for some help. Yeah, that only works if you only took one side, but whatever. Looks like you're going for the capital. Like, I feel like I'm fighting for a white piece here. You got one shock on there, that's good to know. God damn, they're fucking everywhere. Yeah. Nice idea, but... Eh. Oh, I definitely don't want to attack into the mountains, so we'll do that instead. Even then, you're, uh, you've got kind of more men than I do. Don't you just love being betrayed by your fucking allies? That's good. Extra discipline. Chad Yars! Fucking Chad Yars! Thank you very much for the loan, my dudes. Fucking Chad Yars. Watch him take on 21. Oh, he didn't. We got, we got money, we've got manpower, we don't really have time on our hands. Like individual, but like that, this is some really good ratios. I'm liking ratios right now. 
What I like as well is um, decent defensive fortifications. Like, lo fort locations are not in my favor, unfortunately. This works. Oh, you get there on the 31st, oh, I imagine. That morale advantage they have is disgusting. I need to go and defend my capital. Oh, no general, no general. General, fuck. A good attack, we killed a bunch, then we got out of there. We avoided them taking my fort, this is still fine. We just need to basically desiege the <laughs> war goal. Let's see, does anyone want out yet? Nope. Only Steria is on medium. 115, let's go. Like, we're doing so much more damage to them than they're doing to us. Like, look at these ratios! Look at the ratios! Double damage. This Moravian army, very wise. That's fine by me. These rebels, much better. I definitely need a fort in this, like, Macedonian area. That was a much more painful battle than uh, I like, but whatever. What happens if I go take coal, Burnanana? Because you've got how much war score from coal, Burnana? 16. We get rid of that. We get a bit of that on our side. My issue comes when they concentrate their forces, obviously. Twenty-one percent on that fort already. What the fuck? Fuck me. That fell ridiculously quickly. They have a three siege guy. There's an attrition state edict to blow through their manpower while sieging down Constantinople. Attrition for enemies. 
Maximum attrition plus one. Like what kind of uh, morale, uh, manpower are they on? Th uh, fucking 9k from Moravia. You're on 10k, but you've only got 4k troops. Styria is on zero. And they stop trying to siege there. Oh yeah, they're coming back for that fort. Our coast has been raped. Fuck off, Tunis! God damn. Like, I should win purely on the amount of manpower that we've already got. Scorch Belgrade, that would have been a good idea. Sorry I missed that message. Oh, fuck, we're five away from the next tech. Did you get the next tech? No, did you? No, thankfully. Okay. Still in with a chance. Taking Gallipoli, let's fight this army. Just bleed him of manpower. How are you so fast? Stop being so fast. There we go. I'm trying to take Constantinople again. Uh, do we de-siege again, I think? So it means they have to move back, then move back down again, and it's just a pain in the ass for them, which is exactly what we want. Truce with Persia is up, so if Persia attacks me now, I'm in the shit. Do I want to attack there? Not really. I'll take care of you, though. I don't think I'm losing this war. need manpower I mean I have the manpower that's that's it though that's why I have an advantage <sighs> fucking hell I could do mercs as well sure I don't think I'll need mercs. I honestly don't. I think they're going to peace out sooner rather than later. 
going to get this army back up to full strength, and we're going to hit one of these armies. They're out of manpower, so they're probably just going to melt. They're doing way more damage than they are. Come on. Ah, right, there we go. Another stack wipe as well. Okay, take the L. 39 out of 47. We need to just get to the fort and we've won. I'll fucking retreat there. We take this siege, we win the war, I think. Yeah, they got 21 war score just from this siege. We take that, we're at 16, peace. And that's how it's done! How are the forts? I'll tell you now, the forts are due for a fucking upgrade. <laughs> they are due an upgrade. Like, Castoria absolutely needs a fortress. Of course, no good admiral. Air is bad, get rid of the air. Uh, grab you just for the points. And the Anatolian... Oh, the Anatolian ones... Uh, yeah, I suppose now that I've got Persia potentially being a knob. Um, we're going to need to ford up. Check inflation again. Nine. Goddamn. Peacetime buildup is needed. 100%. I think Sebastea, I need to put a fort here. I mean, there's. Mountains that would be great. Like Trebizond is also really, really good. Yep. 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 Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> 113k versus my 51k. Tech advantage me.
tech advantage very me. Just build the Theodosian walls around the whole empire, problem solved. Facts, though. Actual facts. Spitting facts. Uh, that's going to give me advisor cost. That would be nice. That would give me nothing interesting. That would give me nothing interesting. Yeah, so we're not going to do anything there. Um, navally. I feel like I would actually have a chance here. Drop you, unmothball you. Upgrade my one ship, whatever it is. Sure, if you want to, yo, if you want to go to the Abbasid's land, that's cool. I think they also declared when they were like miles away from me. Did you get, bring in Tunis? You did not bring in Tunis, so okay, we've got a bit of a shot here as well. Because of that. Those hostile waters are going to hurt you. you got three maneuver though, which I hate. That's only a level two castle, so that should fall real quick as well. I'm going to blow up that fort. Of course, of course the Persians are giving you access. Why would the Persians not give you access? Let's be honest. Uh, let me guess, you're giving one of my allies access. Yeah, Serbia. Why would you do this? You have fucked me. My entire defensive strategy in tatters because of your foolishness. Like, honestly, the best strategy here is for me to go down to... Uh, Travelers Al Sham, fucking sit my ass here and wait for him to just attack me into the highlands uh, forever. Like, he doesn't win that. Siege of Tech is over though, which is fucking beautiful. But yeah, if Serbia's getting access, then it's not gonna happen, is it? Alright, let's roll another dice. It's slightly better. Fuck it, let's give it a shot. Right. Have you been keeping up with your technology, my dude? Maybe not. Maybe not. Aw, diddums. I need to get to fucking Sepistea real quick. I get a core on tech? Let's go. Oh, I think the li fucking League War is going on. It absolutely is going on. Oh, I'm so sad I'm missing this for fucking... This pile of wank. I get there on twenty seventh. I get there on the twelfth. I do kind of want to attack this as well. Like if they're so bothered about tech, we gotta grab it. We gotta grab it.
Six six one air. Fuck yes, Michael. You're not bad. Yo, where's your men gone, buddy? Where are your men gone? <laughs> Where have they gone? Problem is, they're gonna take like Sebastia before the fort is complete, which fucking annoys me. At least we have Cappadocia, sorry, Galatia, um, and Anatolicon, so there's like, there, there is a, a wall of defense. Also, their fleet is just going to get fucking wrecked. Let's go. <laughs> sure, I lose five ships. You lost five heavies. And eight more ships beside that. You're all going to be gone on the 4th of March. I arrive there on the 4th of March. So what about if I do that, then... Oh, this, oh I'm, a, I'm about to have a Highland battle. That's not good. Oh, no, no, no. We just wiped four dudes. That's good. That's good. That's fine. We need to have this fight. Fuck me. There's so many of them. Six, sh it comes with a six shock. First Merc stack is massive. Was it this? Can't afford him anymore. <laughs> I'll take a six shot guy though. Can we afford to wait? I, re I really don't want to roll the dice on that fucking. Nine days left. If I roll in, I don't get there in nine days. 27th is nine days. I would arrive on the same day. I can't risk that. Okay, 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 we're good now. So you're gonna roll that. It'd be nice if that told me 20 days the next siege phase. Each siege phase is 24 days. The next siege phase ends on boom of month, doodly bop, what's it? Right, that'd be nice to know. Your mic yours, I love you, but <laughs> you're an AI, buddy. Let's <laughs> not be silly. I'm paying you back. Alright, I get there, so I can get there in seven days. Alright, seven days is my march. Or I can get there in five days. So I'm going to wait until this has got like six days left. And you're going to arrive. I'm going to wait until a monthly tick. So you're gonna get there then. Is this gonna be enough? I don't fucking know. I had cannons, straight up cannons on the front line. It is not enough. Fuck me, that hurt. It hurt them more, but yeah, not really. No, no, I, I lost cannons in that. Yes, take back Sebastia. We need that fort. We need that fucking fort. <sighs> did my fort upgrade? It did not. Fun. Okay, so you need to grab... You know, we'll grab you some attrition. Same here. God, I need basically all of my manpower to recover. He's... Barely dipped into his. Barely dipped.
we're in a situation. Anatolicon falls basically instantly. What's the Abyss's spy network on me look like? I don't even know how to check that. Oh, they have so much revanchism. Oh, you ball ache. I mean, I know what my spy network is. It's not good. But maybe it should be. Who declared on who? They declared on me. For Tefritsche. Right there. All of my defensive forts are gone. Um, I mean, I could draw them across the strait into Constantinople, stop them, stack wipe them, that kind of thing. Yo, you cannot, you cannot. This is not allowed. Get off roads, you prick. Manzikert round two, pretty much. Meanwhile, Europe burns. It just, it just burns. Yeah, I suppose this was my tech is Manzikert part two. Hope, I mean, hopefully not. You know, hopefully it's it's not going to go as badly as that did. Three heavy sunk. Love it. So, what I'm seeing is it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get to 50 war score just from my Anatolian land. Yo, it's the little stack wipes that count, you know? At some point, the AI has to be stupid enough to go for my capital. Like, they just have to be. I have naval dominance. Yeah, I know I do, but... It doesn't, like, uh, what I'm hoping for is to get them to cross the strait here. Like, that's, that's my play. It's my only real play here. And you're putting a few more troops over there now.
Need a few more troops. See this this kind of thing. This is what I see winning me the war. Um, playing to the my strengths, which is having a human brain. Like, how many is that that we just stack wiped? From just simple tricks, you know? They're now on 50k manpower because they keep. They're just bleeding manpower. They're also just bleeding manpower. I think we can win this. I have faith in me. Yo, they went up to Theodoro? Fuck, didn't even see that. I feel like getting the full army over there is probably going to be an idea. I mean, the fact that I'm just getting this full... Oh, you know what? They don't even have to cross the strait. They can just walk around. Are they going to do that? Oh, they're coming. They're coming. A nice 46. You just fucking go there. A nice 46 to start us off. Easy, easy peasy, come on. The fact that they, yeah, they came in this way so they can't retreat. If this was Imperator, one of the things I really disliked about Imperator, by the way, is specifically in this area as well, if they had um, crossed over here, they could still retreat up north. They couldn't move up north, but they could, like, shattered retreat up north, which really annoyed me. Yeah, we're three times the casualties. Discipline advantage. They still, like, I, I need to get more morale in my armies. Oh, look at that. Let's go. Become yeeted. All right. What does that bring your army down to? 92k only. Only 92k. Clearly, clearly we are goated and we are destined to win. Purely because of that. Can we uh, bait more over? I honestly feel maybe it's because they saw me coming... Oh my god, why are you so expensive? I think it's because they saw me coming north. Maybe we should try coming north again. They see me coming north and it's like, ah, oh, shit, we can totally do this. God, if, the, if the Persians attack me now, I'd be beyond fucked. Yearly inflation reduction, hello guy. Go on. It's open, buddy. It's open. Have your fill. 
Constantinople. Easy pickings. Easy pickings. Considering the last wars you fought, defensive ideas might not be a bad idea. Honestly, you're right. You're really on point there. <laughs> These last few wars have not been the most stellar of, of times. In the history of... Uh, there it is. There it is. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. The absolute monkey. Go on. Can we get the full caboose? No, he's turned around. Okay. Oh, another 4K there. Nice. There's not even that much infantry there. Hey, go on, Serbia. Get that stack wipe in, buddy. Imagine if he took that siege. I'd be, I'd be absolutely devastated. Easy stack wipe. All right, counterattack time. Why did I click that button? I don't have the manpower for that button. Why did I click that button? That was the dumbest thing I've done all day. I don't have the manpower for that. <sighs> is he in another war? No. I don't know where the rest of his army is. He's got... 15, 20k, 25, 33, that's like half of his army. The other half is, I don't know, stroking off in Cairo, I guess, I don't know. Man's taken back, oh fuck, we found them, we fuck. where, why, how did you get here, where did you come from, what is this army? How did you get to say? Oh, you, you fucking breached. You breached, you little bitch. But it's a mountain siege. Fucking let's get over there. Yo, let's get over there even faster. Watch, watch this. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh no, we're being uh, flanked. Not anymore. Oh wait, we actually weren't. Wait, where are you retreating to? What? I mm, whatever. Oh, you want to fuck it? Nah, fam, fam, lam, fam, lam, a ding dong. Not happening. I'm taking teak in this war. Like, no shot. It's happening. Ooh, heavy ship cost. Let's upgrade those heavy ships now that I got heavy ship cost. Oh, you know what's fucking hilarious? Oh, the sweet little bitch. Silly little turd has just had himself more armies trapped. Let's fucking go. Let's go. I'm 
I mean, he, he could siege this and it's fucking irrelevant. Oh. Famalama dumbass. Stackety wipe a do. And another one. And another one gone, and another one gone. Another stack wipe. I wouldn't mind some um, uh, manpower. Like, manpower is like my big issue. It's like my only issue is manpower. Global trade. Don't really care about this. those guys yet. These guys can come down and help now, actually. Yeah, I don't want to be a part of that. That's good. That, I do think, is a good assault. Because it's mercs, isn't it? Like, what, what? What are you down to? 82, you still got 82,000 men. Still got 82,000 men. So it's like, it's not as if, like, we're just straight up winning on every frontage. We do still have issues. I think if we go and de-siege Sebastia, it might be... Oh my god, has he done it again? Definitely worth getting up there. Anything? War score cost versus other religions. Oh, yes. I don't want to just attack you straight up. If I can urge you onto a defensive terrain. You want to take that? Okay. Because now these guys are fucking trapped. You, if you want to just sit in KOTOR, you know what? Be my guest. Just funny. Let's get back Trebizond because there's a fort being built there. I want that. Oh, yo, they're actually going for Constantinople. Take back this, take back Sebastia, and then we go and attack this Galatian army. He's only on 8k left. Oh my god. I mean, this is... I feel like I should attack that. I wish I had more manpower. 
It's my big problem right now. Ten thousand manpower would be nice. Recent recruitment campaign in Thracesia has given rise to an unprecedented number of new recruits. Oh yes, the local clergy is convinced that this was the result of the widespread religious fervor for that our icon of Saint Michael is inspired. They report that young men have been coming from all parts of the area to see the icon of Astrodic as. Archistratagos, sure, and they uh, leave with a strong will to go to war in the name of their faith. Fuck yes, they do! Let's go! Now nah, we're gonna lose that. These mercs have not come in as handy as I had expected they were to be. God damn it, Sebastian didn't get their fort yet. I don't care about Absolute's opinion of me. Let's get this fort finished. At least the AI is accurately seeing this as an important fort to take, because they do keep coming back here. Oh, you boar lake. Oh, what awful timing. I know it's a bad fight, but I need to take it, I think. Unless you get here in time. Oh, you didn't. Oh, stack wipe as well. Nice. I kind of want to. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So now I assume you guys are like trapped or some shit because my fort's here and. Oh no, you're just going to walk straight to Constantinople, are you? Just just straight up, just straight up waltz on over. I mean, that's cool, fam. That's it's chill, it's fine. They <laughs> fucking take up Theodora. Oh my god. Yes, Serbia, that's good. What are they down to? 71k, there's 25 idiots there. I, I'm actually sick of going up here, so you can just have that. Be another little stack wipe. How many men have you lost in this war? 287? I feel like it's gotta be more. If we take back to Freach, then we're going to be on 25 war score in our favor. And there we go. There we fucking go. We could even just start, like, converting it because, you no, know, middle of the war, that's the perfect time to do it, you know?
That's going to get de-siege. That's going to get de-siege. That fort in Superstay is really handy. Admin text tasty looking. They've still got 60k though. Like, I don't understand where this 60k is coming from. I truly don't. This is where their main fleet is, I assume, yeah. Oh, now you offer me stuff? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Events and slacking probably give them manpower. Probably, yeah. Uh... Sweaty little war, for sure. League war still going on. Fuck you, Styria. I'm glad you're getting wrecked. I told you this was the counterattack, and it's working. Any chance you're gonna go bankrupt soon? Let's go sit in the capital. I think we're basically done here. Mostly the ca sitting on the capital is just to get the best amount of war score, right? Because what I want from this war is like that at least. So I think I need to be on his capital. I'll, th I'll throw you an explosion, sure. No peace! Peace on my terms, bitches! Oh, look at you, you sweaty little bitch. Gonna go for the... Oh, you didn't even go for Tefritia. Ha <laughs> ha he tried. Your man tried, your man failed. Let's go. There's your capital. You will accept the peace.
why do we have to have these massive sweat fest wars? Like, why? Why? Why do I have to put up with this? But yo, it's done! <laughs> we done a mission. What, what mission did we do? Secure the coastline! Let's go! The Anatolian coastline, the ancient naval boundaries of the oriental provinces of the empire, must be returned to the empire. No longer shall we tolerate the various Turkish beyliks occupying these lands. An order must be restored to these provinces immediately. Facts. Facts. The Beyliks on the Imperial Frontier must be pushed back. No longer shall we allow the Anatolian Frontier to be in a state of anarchy. Imperial rule must be restored. Facts. Revenge for Manzikert! Fucking facts! Our disastrous defeat at Manzikert allowed the Turks to enter Anatolia, and it was from there that our empire started to disintegrate. With our newfound power, it's time to take the fight back to the Turks. Don't worry about it. Uh, and avenge 1071. Facts! As the dust settled over the battlefield, all that remained was dust and ash. Turkish soldiers lay on the earth, still and unmoving. Those that were too foolish to flee. The others raced away on their steeds, only to be intercepted by our cataphracts crashing into them. Their commander did not beg for his life. He merely accepted his fate. His body was tossed in with the rest. As the scout recounted more of the battle, a smile crept across Zoe the f second. It had been centuries since the Battle of Manzikert, where the Seljuk armies humiliated us on the hills of Anatolia. Now, as Byzantine forces drive back the foes that have long since plagued them in the east, Zoe smiles to herself. Raising her hand, she calls to the various courtiers around her. Uh, there are to be celebrations, for Manzikert has finally been avenged! And I get... that's really good. Yo, we could... Conversion cost, minus 30%. Let's go. Unlocks East Rome Cosmetic Country Rename. Yo! Where? I want it. Rename the country to East and Rome. Let's go! <laughs> I love it. That's sick as fuck. Let's go. Oh. Nice. We are the Eastern Roman Empire. No fucking Abbasid or Persian or Umayyad or fucking Hafsid can take that away from us. Ascendant is what we are. Fucking Ascendant. <laughs> oh my god. Core all of my doodads. Actually, 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 apart from not you, because man do be releasing Syria. Syria with their fat amount of cores. It's looking. Oh. <laughs> Look at Wallachia indeed. Who do you ally with Moravia? Fucking Lendians. Oh my god, you sack of piss. I mean, I actually do outnumber you, but you are also kind of in the middle of a, a huge war, right? Oh, no. You're all not. Well, that's going to be our next conquest, for sure. Um, global trade. Yeah, it's spreading slowly, I guess. 1.2 a month. That's not bad. Triumph for the Asia Minor Coast. Now that the Asia Minor Coast is secure, the capital is safe from eastward threats. Are you fucking sure about that? Are you f actually fucking sure about that? The army deserves to march in triumph through the streets, and our journals must be commended. That that they should be. That they should be. Let's go. But fuck me, that's... That was a sweaty war. That was a very sweaty war. 
Also, did Novgorod conquer Circassia? They fucking did. What are these borders? What are these? My dude, how? Criminal, 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 criminal. Oh my god. Well, that is, I would say, a fat success. And with that, it is, uh, it's also a pretty good place to end uh, today's stream. Um, because, you know, I can't top this. We get attacked by Styria. <laughs> Boom. See you later, Styria. We're recovering. We're recovering. We're not fully recovered from Styria. The Abbasids come in. <laughs> Boom. Smack the Abbasids. We get ourselves a bit of Syria. We get ourselves a triumph. We triumphant is clearly, you know, it's it, we just are. We are triumphant. It's just phenomenal. We did, we did great, I, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, I, I'm done for today. I need a rest. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, session of Antebellum. I sure as shit did. Um, I'm gonna go rest and. Um, we're gonna we're gonna come back uh, probably tomorrow with the Eastern Roman Empire and um, Valachia. They need getting slapped. Sicily needs another slap. Fucking probably the Abbasids. The Persians scare the shit out of me, but they're probably still in like crazy. Yeah, five grand of debt. They're, they suck. Um, so we'll see where we go from here. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as per usual, and uh, I will see you hopefully tomorrow. If you are uh, not subscribed and you, you know, you enjoyed what you saw today, maybe hit the subscribe button and um, the bell as well, and you'll be able to, you know, catch me live tomorrow. Should be a good time then as well. Ta-ta!